Salish Chisan, my good name Chris Rimple. Good morning, my name's Chris Rimple, Grand Ronde tribal member living in the Portland area. I hope your family is doing well these days. I hope you're healthy and have all the food and other resources you need. I'm here to talk today and share a little bit about what I know about gathering Oregon grapefruit. I'm Oregon grapefruit, the quick stick. It's been used for by our people since time immemorial. It's used a lot for making dyes for basketry because it has, has a really good bright yellow color. That same yellow is also really good strong medicine and some people are actually able to make good medicine from it as well. Um, I've learned a little bit and I'm still trying to learn a lot more. My teachers include Greg Archuleta, another tribal elder, as well as my partner and her mother who make a lot of medicines from these plants. And so we're going to go up to Mountain National Forest. I'm going to show you a little bit about how to gather and identify Oregon grapefruit. So we're looking for Kaokawik stick on the southwestern slope of Wakonkin, also known as Mount Hood, which is located within the traditional homelands of the Clackamas Chinook people. Here are a couple of examples of what Oregon grape looks like. On the left, you can see some, there's a few varieties, and this one we found grows closer to the ground. It's got green spiky leaves with on the opposite sides, with usually one at the tip. On the right is the same type. Later in the summer, they can turn red when they're exposed to too much sunlight. Now that we know what Oregon grape looks like, it's time to go and find it. A few weeks ago, we went up to Mount Hood to look for some Oregon grape. You could usually go in forested areas near a little bit of water because it likes a little bit of moisture. Can you see any Oregon grape in this picture? Once you've found some Oregon grape, you want to look for a nice good patch. That means you want to kind of look at all the leaves and make sure they all look healthy. And it's also important to make sure that there's enough plants there so that even if you take a few roots, the patch will still survive. When we're gathering, we're asking these plants to help us, to give us their medicine and their materials for us. So it's always proper to give them an offering, give them a song or give them some items to show your appreciation for them, keeping that good relationship with them. When you're rather ready to start gathering, all you need is your bare hands and some clippers. What you do is you start by grabbing one of the stalks and following it down into the dirt and starting to pull up the dirt. Here's where you'll find out if you've picked a good spot. If you're in a good spot, the dirt should be really loose and easy to dig up. As you start digging, you'll notice the roots don't run very deep and they run towards the other plants because they're a web of roots. So as you follow it along, you can scratch it a little bit with your fingernail and you'll see this bright yellow color, which tells you that it's the right root. So keep digging so you get a little bit of plant and probably not more than a foot or so, that's all you really need to expose. Once you've got enough root exposed, you want to make your first cut. You want to go down probably a good eight inches from the plant space, because when you're done cutting, you're going to be able to replant the plant and it's actually going to grow back into the web, but you want to give it enough root to give it a good chance. Then you make your second cut probably a good four or five inches down from the first one, and that's how you get your segments of Oregon grape. So once you've got your segment, um, this is one of the most important parts, and this is where you're going to help plant the plant back. So you're going to grab the stem and place the cut end next to the other cut end of the root. Then you're going to pack dirt on it tight enough so it can stand back up on its own again. After you've got your root out, you can use the back of a knife to gently peel off the bark and see the bright yellow color. The brighter it is, the stronger the medicine is. It even has a really nice smell. Well, I think it's nice anyway. But for now, to keep it, all you need to do is wipe off the excess dirt and store them for later use. So I hope that was a helpful video showing you about gathering and finding Oregon grapefruit. Um, future videos are going to show actually making dye and then actually what that looks like in a few different projects. So I appreciate you taking your time and doing these things and encourage you to go out there these days and maintain proper social distancing. But these are good things in the Grand Ronde area and other areas you can find this good Oregon grapefruit. So I encourage you to go out and try and feel free to reach out to the tribes culture department if you have any questions or want any information. Uh, hayumasi. Aki.